Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers for the great opportunity to give a talk today. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce you uh, our study of polydopamine layers uh, anchored on various uh, surfaces. Uh, very briefly, uh, dopamine is a neurotransmitter which contains uh, oxygen and nitrogen atoms in uh, its uh, structure via that uh, uh, it's able to uh, uh, anchor to the various surfaces or bind uh, other molecules. Uh, in alkaline conditions, uh, it's able to form long chains uh, anchored to the surfaces and form uh, layers. Uh, the polydopamine layers uh, are interested from biomedical uh, reasons. Uh, we tried to characterize the polydopamine layers from a macroscopic and uh, nanoscopic point of view. Ultimately, the goal of our study is uh, to describe structure of uh, the polydopamine layers and uh, features on the surfaces. Uh, the surfaces were prepared by coating uh, of uh, silicon wafers uh, using oxide. Uh, you know, that means that the first one was uh, silicon dioxide, the second, was, uh, the second uh, one was uh, titanium oxide uh, coated on the silicon wafer, and the last one was a layer of gold coated on the silicon wafer. These substrates, uh, these substrates uh, were immersed uh, into dopamine solution uh, in 10 millimolar trace solution. The pH volume was adjusted to 8.5 uh, to achieve alkaline uh, condition. Uh, after 2.5, 2.5, 5, 10, 30, 60, and 240 minutes. The substrates were removed uh, from the solution uh, with uh, various uh, polydopamine. Uh, the process of polymerization is not simple, and there are many uh, interdegrees represented by many intermediates. We started with macroscopic study of uh, the layers, uh, namely using grazing angle, ITR. And uh, we characterized uh, the layers on all substrates on silicon, titanium, and uh, gold. Uh, on the first side, you can see that uh, there are uh, different spectra uh, of the polydopamine uh, intermediates. But uh, in all spectra, we can see uh, bands characterized for uh, hinoid uh, unit at uh, 1740 or 1711 centimeters to minus first, or uh, bands of uh, indole unit at 1600 or 1510 centimeters uh, to minus first. Uh, grazing angle ITR is a good spectroscopic uh, tool for characterization of thin layers on uh, metal surfaces, but uh, it's uh, insufficient for us for detailed study of the nano features, that means in nanoscale level. Uh, for this reason, uh, we uh, studied uh, the surfaces uh, using scanning infrared infrared uh, microscope, which overcome the limitations of the grazing angle ATR. Uh, for us, uh, for us uh, it was important uh, to find a distribution of the nano features, that means of the intermediates of the uh, PDA. Uh, firstly, AFM images 
and uh, from AFM images, you can see that with uh, longer uh, time of polymerization, the number and the size of the nano features uh, is uh, increasing in the case of silicon and uh, titanium surfaces. Uh, but in the case of gold surfaces, the gold was uh, rough uh, itself, but uh, there is a growing of the nano features uh, with increasing time too. Uh, the wave number for the scanning uh, uh, near field imaging was uh, based on a signal from grazing angle uh, ATR. That means that we focused uh, on uh, bands characteristic for the uh, various intermediates. Uh, moreover, we tried to study uh, signal at uh, 1100, uh, where is minimal signal of uh, PDA, but uh, in this case, uh, there is high signal of the uh, silicon surface. Uh, in the images, you can see uh, that there is uh, very weak signals uh, at short uh, time of polymerization. Unfortunately, uh, we couldn't see a signal of the intermediate at uh, five minutes. But after 30 minutes polymerization time, uh, we could see uh, signals of uh, all intermediates. When we uh, compare uh, all surfaces uh, and their uh, optical faces, uh, we still observe uh, increase of uh, number of uh, the intermediates in the case of uh, silicon, titanium, and uh, gold surface. Uh, for Better clarification, line profiles uh, were created. And uh, in the case of uh, silicon surfaces, uh, there is a minimal change of the mechanical phase, but a high signal of uh, the silicon oxide at uh, 1100 centimeters to minus one. Then we observed weak signal of the intermediate. But at titanium dioxide, we observed minimal signal at 1100, uh, but uh, very strong signals uh, of the uh, intermediate, uh, except of, of uh, 1740. Uh, in the case of gold surfaces, after 30 minutes of polymerization time, we observed signal of all intermediates characterized by the uh, henoid or indol units. Uh, from previous results uh, follows that uh, infrared spectroscopy is a good tool for characterized PDA uh, intermediates and uh, product. So nowadays uh, we try to study the features and layers of the PDA on the substrates. When we compare nano FTIR spectra uh, of the similar features at the same substrates, we can observe uh, similar bands with maxima at uh, the product of uh, PDA, that means of indole unit. Uh, there are some limitations uh, in this uh, technique. So we try to uh, change experimental conditions to achieve a good quality nano FTIR spectra of the uh, small nano features. And uh, you can see that when we change uh, resolution, 
the spectrum, uh, nano FTR spectrum of the one nano feature is similar like average spectrum from grazing angle ATR. Uh, Uh, finally, let me uh, uh, summarize the results of our study I've uh, presented here. Using grazing angle ATR, uh, we obtained uh, average signal of uh, all layers of the uh, PDA using AFM. Uh, sorry, <laughs> using AFM, uh, we obtained. Uh, physical structures of the features on all uh, substrates and using uh, scanning near for infrared microscopy. Uh, we find distribution of various intermediates of uh, PDA on the surfaces. Uh, nano FTIR, we would like uh, to use them for characterization characterize various features and layers of the PDA at various time of polymerization on the substrates. Using macro, mic, macroscopic and uh, nanoscopic techniques, uh, we suppose that uh, the uh, PDA molecules are absorbed via uh, oxygen in the case of uh, silicon and titanium surfaces and uh, via aromatic systems uh, in the case of gold surface. Uh, finally, let me thank uh, my colleagues uh, from UCT and IMC in Prague, from uh, KTH in Stockholm, uh, for financial support from Czech Science Foundation. Enjoy your meal and thank you for your attention.